How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And today I thought we'd take a break from the ranked matches to talk a little bit more about the future of Dragon Ball Fighters, and more specifically Season 2, when I think we're going to get it, and what I think they are looking to include with it. Before I go any farther though, I should mention that Season 2 has not been officially teased or announced or anything like that, I just think it's something that's extremely likely because of how well Dragon Ball Fighters has done, and the fact that the last thing we got was seasonal outfits for Halloween. I have never once in my life seen a game put out seasonal outfits for Halloween and then never do them again. But with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and discuss the when when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighter's second season. Now when it comes to this section of the video, I want you to keep in mind three important dates. The first one being the 17th of November, which is coming up here pretty shortly. Now, this is usually when the month's edition of V-Jump starts leaking, but this date can fluctuate from like the 17th to the 20th, depending on how fast the leaks come out. I don't think this date is too likely to receive any big news for fighters though, as ever since the release of Android 17 and Cooler's last bit of information, fighters news on here has been pretty dry as there simply hasn't been anything ready to be announced. Regardless though, I did want to mention it in this video just in case something does come up, you never really know. The second and third date I want you to keep in mind are more likely candidates for me for big announcements regarding the game. The second date being Jump Festa, which occurs on Friday, December 21st, all the way through Sunday, December 23rd. For those of you that have been following Dragon Ball Fighters for a long time, you'll remember that the last year's Jump Festa is where we got the announcement for Hit, Goku Black, and Beerus. So that was a big event for fighters. We got three very fan favorite characters from Super. So obviously this is a big event for anime, and last year it was a big event for fighters too. So I wouldn't be too shocked if we see anything here. If Jump Festa is a bust for news as well though, the last date being January 26, 2019, that is the finals of the Saga World Tour event for Dragon Ball Fighters that has been going on now for a while. For those of you out of the know, this is Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour where the best of the best go to tournaments all around the world trying to gain Dragon Balls to prove who the best of the game really is. The finals of course being the climax of this tournament series, uh, I, it's bound to have some sort of announcement, something hype going on. If no news is here, I'm sorry guys, but even I'll admit that Dragon Ball Fighters might be done or they might be moving on to Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or something like that. Uh, this just seems like the final date for something to be announced. Like I said, though I think it's pretty likely that something will be announced either here or along the way so I uh, don't even get too worried about nothing being announced there by the way just a little bit of extra trivia the finals take place on January 26 2019 and Dragon Ball Fighters originally released in January 26 2018 not really necessary for any reveals but it would be kind of poetic to see Dragon Ball Fighters get a rebirth on its one year anniversary of release and that all pretty much covers the when when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters second season but I also did want to cover some things that I personally think we're going to see along with a second season of support for this game and again just a reminder none of this has been officially confirmed or even teased for that matter these are just some things that i think are likely to be expanded upon in the future for this game. So for starters, I think alternative costumes might be an area they look to expand in. The only reason I really bring this up at all is because there is an old data mind icon that does appear to be for switching costumes for characters or something along those lines. Doesn't really inherently mean all too much because this is something they could have put in the game at a very early stage just in case and then decided to scrap altogether or for literally any other reason, it's hard to speculate on this. I just think it's something that might happen so I thought I'd bring it up. The other thing I think we'll see along with the new support is new maps. We did get one one new map for free at the end of season one that being galactic arena this doesn't inherently mean they're going to add more maps for free and i say this because it is a more esports type of arena it shows the fighters their team in the background all that so they might have just wanted to throw that in for the world tour but i do think it does serve as even a slight indicator that they might want to be adding more maps in the future to accompany DLC characters. And speaking of characters, that brings us to the last thing that we can obviously expect to see, that being new characters to expand the roster even further. Now, I know that's pretty obvious, but I just wanted to bring this up because there has been a, what I wanna call a renaissance of Dragon Ball recently, along with the Dragon Ball Super Broly film, where it just feels like almost everything surrounding Dragon Ball has been put to a halt uh, or just slowed down dramatically to build up hype for this film. Uh, you know, if you play any Dragon Ball mobile games, you know those are kind of slowing down right now new content isn't that fast. Xenoverse has been leaked some DLC, uh, so even that game, as old as it is, uh, is building up hype for some new DLC characters specific to the Dragon Ball film that I don't want to get into because that's kind of spoiler territory. And Dragon Ball Fighters has also been on hold with in terms of news, 
So I think all of this just culminates to the fact that, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly, I think they just want to make this a splash. And this is all speculation on my part, but if you've been riding the Broly hype train for all along, you've probably been noticing these things, uh, and it just feels like we're definitely going to get some characters. And speaking on the last stage part, I would say even stages from, from the new Broly movie uh, and characters from that movie. And that's really as deep as I want to go into that to avoid, but actually, you know what? Okay, spoilers in five seconds, so please click off the video. Uh, seriously, just leave right now. If you don't want any spoilers, thank you so much for watching. That's really all you need to know anyway. Okay, going into spoiler talk. So for those of you that have been riding the hype train for Dragon Ball Super Broly, you know that Gogeta is more than likely going to make an appearance. It's been confirmed by a lot of very credible sources. I think it has been confirmed to actually be Gogeta Blue. Uh, he's also coming to Xenoverse. And I just think it's very, very likely that if that is true, which it looks like it 100% is, uh, that we would definitely see that come to Fighters. I don't know, Fighters does feel like an outlier uh, in terms of Dragon Ball games, but the hype just feels so surreal, man, that I can't see him not come. And I know it was kind of a meme, like, are we gonna get new Broly too? But I don't know, man, now it kind of feels like we are. Speculation over. I think that is going to happen though. <laughs> okay, now that's the for real end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know the last part of this was a lot of speculation, but but those are the important dates to look out for and the things that we can realistically expect to see. Maybe even some balance patches thrown in there, but you know that kind of depends on whether or not they want to continue supporting this game competitively as well, uh, which they think they will, depending on how successful the World Tour is. Other than that, let me know down in the comments what you think about Season 2, when you think we're going to see it, and what you think is going to come along with it, and just everything in between, man. I'm looking forward to discussing this with you guys down there, as I'm just a super Dragon Ball Fighters nerd and Dragon Ball nerd in general, so I really want to talk about this. <laughs> Other than that, while you're down there, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video from me. And I also have some other videos on the screen right now. If any of those interest you, give those a watch as well. Other than that, I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next video.